Hi, I'm Nathan Thornberry. I'm with Priority Lab out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and we're a professional environmental lab. We work with home inspectors and environmental testing professionals throughout the United States and Canada, and we're probably the first or second largest in the space. One of the things that we uh, that we looked into doing in the last few years and tested was what's known as a consumer mold test kit. Uh, and ours, you can see right here, I'm surrounded by thousands of them at the moment. Uh, and it says mold test kit. It's not unlike the style that you would find at your local Home Depot or Lowe's or Menards. Um, inside of that kit, you will find one of two things. You'll either find a simple plate with a liquid and a couple of uh, swabs or you'll find uh, a, a unit that you can attach to your vacuum cleaner. Here's the problem and the reason why we'll be throwing away every single one of these kits today and, and just these kits in this room between the retail sale at around $10 and the lab fees between $45 and $150 per unit. Um, the reason we're going to throw all of those away is because they simply don't work. And uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things where you have to gut check yourself as a business owner. And I wanted to put out this PSA about these things because they are bad news. The reason we're throwing them away, the reason we're throwing away just in this room, probably around $300,000 in revenue, um, is because it doesn't work for the consumer. If you go to Home Depot or Menards or Lowe's or you go online to Amazon or Walmart.com and you pick up one of these kits thinking that you're going to test your home for mold and get some sort of actionable information out of it, you will not. What these plates are is they are basically a place where you can grow mold. It's known as a viable sample. This does not tell you what the counts are in the air. It doesn't tell you if uh, the, the air inside your house is better or worse than the outside ambient air. Um, it just tells you that there is a particular type of mold in your home and that it was able to grow on a plate. That's useless information. The other type that's out there that um, goes on, on a vacuum cleaner uh, isn't accurate. It doesn't have, because of the way that vacuum cleaners are, you know, they're not calibrated equipment. It, there's no basis for uh, how much air was flowing through that media. So the, the results just simply don't mean anything. And the, these sampling kits, and there's one from ProLab, there's one from Mold Armor, there's a couple of others out there. Um, they're not a, a value. It would be one thing if they were super cheap but they're not, they look cheap on the shelf because they uh, have a price tag of nine or $10. But then once you open them, you find um, a form to fill out. And this form includes your credit card information because once you take the sample, then the, the goal from uh, those that sell them is to have you send the sample into the lab, usually with some so sort of a, a woven envelope, um, just like this one here and then pay an additional fee for the lab. Uh, and the lab testing will run anywhere from 40 to $50 or more at times. And some people might do two or three samples. So one kit, $150 to $160 by the time you're all said and done, and you have no actionable information at all whatsoever. The right thing to do, if and, and this is not something that's coming from someone on the internet that's just, you know, uh, uh, unqualified, you know, isn't a lab owner of, of one of the largest labs in the history of the world. Um, and, and not only that, but somebody who went through the process of creating that form, of creating that product, of having plastic clamshells created. I mean, the, the, uh, the cost just of the clamshells alone, that, that first order is insanely high. So we, we invested all of that. Um, we have our, uh, our US Postal Service mail-in permit, all of these things. We built all of that, we produced all of this, we had people do it, there's labor in it. Uh, and again, in this room, just in this room, $300,000 plus worth of revenue that we're gonna throw away today because it's not good for clients. If you want a mold test today, uh, and take this from somebody who's about to throw away all of this inventory on camera and 
put it in a dumpster where it belongs. You need to call a professional, somebody that goes out to your house and, and does an evaluation, looks for mold, moisture, intrusion issues, uh, does a test with professional equipment that's calibrated, that runs at, at uh, uh, specifically 15 liters per minute of air through uh, a testing device, uh, most often referred to as a, a sport trap or a cassette. Um, and I have one of those right here. This is what a professional uses. And they pay a little bit less than you do as a consumer for the lab fees themselves. So even with their labor involved, you end up not spending an enormous amount more, but you get something that actually has actionable results. Um, and they don't use any of these uh, mold pumps. That, the, there is a mold pump that I've seen on the shelves at Home Depot and Lowe's and Menards, and it's not calibrated, it's not accurate, it's a $50 item. Um, the kind of pumps that, they, that professionals use are something like this, which is calibrated and always has that 15 liters per minute flowing through this cassette. And then we do a comparative analysis of what the air quality is outside and inside at the locations of concern. And that can be done because you have a concern, because you smell something funny, because you have um, you know, some sort of a health, health concern personally maybe. It could be done because you're about to have remediation done or you think you've had moisture intrusion or maybe it's post remediation. All of those are great reasons to get a mold test or to get a mold assessment or to get a mold evaluation. Um, and you should call a professional to do it. Now I want you to sit there and, and think about this as you're uh, looking online and you're looking at that nine or ten dollar uh, piece of, of consumer mold test, a mold test kit, and they're all falling down now. There's so many of them. Um, I want you to think about that as you look at this. The actual cost, 150 bucks. There are uh, simple mold tests that a professional can do for as low as $300 in some markets. Now, if you're not a consumer, if you're not someone that's going to Home Depot or Lowe's and picking up one of these kits, um, and, and so you're not someone that I have to warn about the incredible uselessness of these kits, but rather you're a professional. Here's what I want to say to you. These kits are not from you know, some company that just came up with a consumer product. These kits come from uh, environmental laboratories and they're creating kits that are out in the public, that are on the internet. In, in some cases, I've even seen the kits uh, advertised on a postcard that was sent to real estate agents. Now, can you imagine? I mean, we're talking about a test uh, that is completely useless if a consumer does it. Um, can you imagine a real estate agent in the middle of a real estate transaction going to a Lowe's or a Home Depot and picking up a viable sample and going and doing a mold test at a house? Um, the labs that offer this, they need to stop doing it. They need to stop advertising it to real estate agents because it does nothing but put them in harm's way. I can't think of uh, a worse case scenario than uh, a real estate agent representing a buyer or a seller in a real estate transaction being the one to take the test and then the test be something that, that has no viability. I mean, well, it's a viable sample. It has no use. It's, it, it doesn't have a result that's going to be actionable. It's just going to grow a particular type of mold. And if it's the kind that goes on the end of a shop vac, it's not going to give, deliver anything um, actionable or accurate. Um, help me get the message out to real estate professionals and to consumers by sharing this video. And again, get with your, your lab. If you're using a lab that goes out and promotes consumer kits, um, Tell them not to. It's the wrong thing to do. Uh, when we get on the phone with a consumer and they've had one of these tests, and, and we again, we tested this because everybody in the space is doing something like it. And so we created this. We spent a, a bunch of money in uh, development, in production of this, and we're going to throw it all away today because we work with professionals and it's the right thing for the consumer um, particularly involved in a real estate transaction, but even everyday consumers that are dealing with a remediation issue. It's the right thing for them to have 
a professionally done mold test, mold evaluation, or mold assessment. So share this video and um, enjoy the rest of it uh, where you will see thousands and thousands of consumer mold test kits thrown in the dumpster where they belong.